Hi, in this video I want to talk about the Legion mechanic. Quick side note, this video will not cover the domain of conflict and only focus on what Legion does in a map. A video that covers the domain of conflict will be released in the future. How can I get the mechanic on my map? You can get the mechanic through Atlas Passives, which is not guaranteed, Sextons, which I would not recommend because it's too expensive through the map device and through scarabs. What scarabs and sextons should you take? You should take, if you are not using the face off atlas passive, a polished slash gilded scarab. If you want to use a Saxons and can afford it, you should use this one. Your maps contain an additional Legion encounter. What League specific items drop? Timeless splinters that can be converted to timeless emblems. And if you are lucky, complete timeless emblems. You need at least two of them to enter the domain of conflicts. Unrelenting emblems can only drop in the domain of conflict. And incubators. What Atlas passives should you take? Mandatory. Marakev, Legion Chance, your maps have plus 1% chance to contain a Legion Encounter. Legion Encounters in your maps have 40% increased chance to include a Marakev Army. Templar Legion Chance, your maps have plus 1% chance to contain a Legion Encounter. Legion Encounters in your maps have 60% increased chance to include a Templar Army. The next one would be emblematic 0.6 chance for timeless splinters to drop as timeless emblems instead the next mandatory atlas passive would be war supplies each legion in your maps contains an additional war horde okay optional optional would be face off I would only take that if you are not going to use a Gilded Scarab. This works like a mini Gilded Scarab, if you want to call it like that. <clears throat> Legion encounters in your maps are 60% more likely to include a General. And Legion encounters with a General in your maps have both Generals. And the last one that I would take, if you have enough points would be Chain of Command. Legion Encounters in your maps contain two additional Sergeants and Legion Sergeants in your maps have 20% additional chance to have rewards. How does the mechanic work? When you are in a map, you will eventually see a timeless monolith. If you click on it, the encounter starts and two frozen armies will spawn. During this phase, the enemies can be killed, breaking them out and allowing them to be fought when the timer ends for rewards. The timer can range from 14 to 20 seconds with a longer timer in lower level zones. Once the timer runs out, all the enemies that had their health depleted will become unfrozen and start attacking. Enemies that didn't have their health depleted will disappear. Some Legion enemies have a symbol above their heads indicating an additional reward tape type they, that they will drop. Chests and war hordes can also spawn, which can be destroyed and opened after the timer runs out. Destroying a chest or war horde will free all nearby enemies without symbols in a radius around it. The general of each legion can occasionally spawn, always spawning in the far rear of the formation. If a general spawns, the monolith will display a wave of purple on the bottom in the direction of the general. Generally, raw, rare, rare raw spawns will spawn further away from the monolith, therefore it is advised to move deep into a formation as quickly as possible if you are looking for rare spawns.
Okay, that concludes the video. I hope you found it informative. Have a nice day. Bye.